Hi, it's uh, 5 p.m. on this lovely Tuesday, and I have been so busy working and getting stuff sorted for the show that I have forgotten to vlog today. <laughs> um, I, I made all this marketing material, I'll put that up here so that you can see it. Um, very, very happy with that marketing material. I think it's very funny in the dumbest possible way. Um, I also got a bunch of pre-orders done for the shirts, which are awesome, um, and I've planned out my actual system for how I'm gonna have everything look on the show. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna work for a little bit more and I'm about to go do my last ever life drawing thing uh, with Studio Maverick before I leave in two weeks, which is crazy. Um, really quickly though, I wanna talk about my process in how I put together this solo show business. Putting together a solo show is one of those things that I feel like a lot of not only photographers, but artists in general really aspire to. And it's one of those things where I was kind of like, screw it, we're just gonna do it. I think that's one of the things that holds people back the most in doing it in the first place is not having that initial incentive to be like, screw it, I'm just gonna do it. But here's what I did. This is the three things that I did to actually physically create a, a show. First thing was finding a venue. Thankfully, I, w I work out of here at Ventspace, so I got resident discount to book the venue and it makes it way easier for me because all my stuff is already here and I can just bring it downstairs and install easy. Number one, done. Number two was actually deciding what I'm going to exhibit. What made that really easy for me was setting myself a parameter, so having a, a box that I'm working in. That box was that every single photo had to be from Australia because it's a representation of my time here in this country um, and, and kind of a, a first show and a last show here in Australia before I move. So that, that was that box, that was that parameter that I gave myself and that made it way easier for me to choose photos. I think I have somewhere around 27, 28 photos ready for display. And then number three was actually creating all the material and, and advertising and marketing it. And I will admit that that was slack and I didn't do that as well as I could have. But this event is mostly for the people that I know personally and people that they know personally. So really ultimately like it wasn't really the biggest focus for me um, but having a poster and making some quick Instagram posts and, and just plugging it on my story constantly to the people that I know personally has been the most advantageous thing and I, I'm estimating anywhere between 80 to 100 people to be coming on the actual night which is a very large number of people to be in a room physically looking at things and it's a solo show so it's only my things and that's terrifying but also incredibly exciting and I really really hope people buy things. Anyway, those are the three things that went through my head when I was setting up my solo art show. Um, also, as an aside, I've never actually exhibited my work ever. So I've gone from in trip typical Frank Mankin fashion, zero to 100 immediately. Anyway, I'm gonna keep working and then I'm gonna go model for the last time. Bye, I'll first see you tomorrow. Today's, today's kind of a sad life drawing session. Um, not because it's like bad or anything, but just because I know that it's probably going to be my last life drawing session with Re and Franny, uh, but it's almost certainly also going to be my last life drawing session ever, um, because I can't really imagine myself stumbling into this again after this experience. It's just been amazing. It's been a great experience. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like such a happenstance that it even it even came to be, um, and I can't imagine it happening again. Uh, and it has been amazing, and I've loved literally every second of it, but. Um, I don't think it's something that, that I can I can do again. It's one of those once in a lifetime experiences and I don't think I would really want to restart and do it again with, with anyone else. Alright. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. I tied my hair up for today's session so that I don't have to deal with it. I'm a bit sick of it today because it's so hot. Look at all these peoples. So I went into today's life drawing session feeling really, I don't know, not upset, but em emotional in general. I feel like this is one of the, the the first of the big things that I'm going to be doing for the last time before my move. And, and, and that's hitting me about as hard as I expected. Um, but I, that really came through in a lot of my poses today, I felt like. I really felt like I was a, a lot more low and, and not melancholy but very zen like very calm like my energy was a lot lower my movements felt a lot more fluid which is interesting like I, I, I don't think I've really felt like that very much in my life drawing so far um, 
but it felt really good and it felt like a really nice release for those emotions and those feelings um, in a way that I don't think I could quite express in the same way if I was just talking about it. Um, but the session was really good, it was lovely, uh, and, and everyone that I knew was there, and it was amazing, and, and there were some incredible drawings of me, like genuinely some, some stupidly good stuff, and, um, and, it, and it all felt really good, and I feel like that's really what I needed at this point in my week, journey, just life. Okay, all done. Leaving now. Bye, bye I love you, bye! bye Thank you! Bye. That ended up actually being a really nice farewell to life drawing modeling and my life drawing journey. Um, everyone there was people that I that had either drawn me before or that I knew already or or that I'd, I'd met once before I'd seen online or something like that so it was just a really nice community vibe and I really felt like I like everyone was there for the right reasons and it was just really nice. <laughs> it just felt really good and wholesome and like a good little send-off for something that has very quickly become very important and integral to my life, but also something that I think I'm ready to let go of. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at with it. Um, it's really helped my self-confidence and, and with my, my love for myself, um, but I don't feel like I need that anymore. And and life drawing has been amazing and incredible and, and such a, a beautiful thing that I didn't expect and kind of just fell into my lap, but has 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 a place in my life and and it's one that i'm ready to give up for other things so that felt really pretentious and wanky but i really hope that you understood what i meant anyway that's it vlog over i'm very very tired for some reason very like emotional i think um but i'll see you tomorrow goodbye okay wait i totally lied vlog isn't over yet i just came home to this package and it says gopro on the side so i'm assuming this is my gopro that they've resent so I bought like the full accessory pack thing. I bought the full accessory pack thing, so it comes with extra batteries and, and like a head thing. I don't know. It was the same price, so I don't I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Oh that's nice. It works. We have a working GoPro. <laughs> okay. Now we're done. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow.